This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! card review slash discussion type video on another new Link monster coming out in the Link Reigns pack. They're really churning these damn things out in terms of legacy support that are really good and really generic for a lot of different things. So... Fuck. <laughs> but anyway, the card we're going to be talking about today is the newest bit of Pendulum Legacy support, Link Monster support, that has been spoiled out of Link Vrains, and that is Heavy Metal Foes Electrum. Now, this card is a Link 2 Fire Psychic Link Effect Monster, and its two arrows point bottom left and bottom right. It has 1800 attack, and its requirements is incredibly generic. It's just two Pendulum Monsters, but its effect is actually just really... Really, really, really good. This is like another like Cleefort Genius type level card of how it's obviously designed for Metal Foes, and it's a Metal Foes support card, but because of how generic it is, it supports so many other decks that fall under the Pendulum Spectrum and operate on a similar sort of basis. But, so, the effects that Heavy Metal Foes Electrum has is first effect. If this card is Link Summoned, you can add one Pendulum Monster from your deck to your extra deck face up. So, cool, a Zephyrath type card. Very neat. Well, something you can just link summon. Uh, now, getting two pendulum monsters on the field might be a little bit problematic um, before you pendulum summon anyway. Uh, there are obviously other ways that you can, you know, go about doing that sort of thing, but it's still going to be something that's a bit odd. Like, the only other deck that I can think of that would have done this, like, reliably would have been, like, Performer Pal Zoo back when we still had Broad Bull and shit because you go, you know, like, almost summon Skullcrabat Joker. And then you go barrage, summon a zoo monster, and then like do pendulum rising plays after you did your entire Chaka Nine bullshit, like stuff like that. But other decks obviously have access into things that could put multiple pendulum monsters on the field, like quick succession. I mean, uh, luster pendulums at two again, so you've got things like that. You got Draco face off as a potential engine. Uh, you've got rescue rabbit in metal foes, the deck this card is direct support for. You got a couple different options there, but it when it's link summoned, you add a pendulum monster from your deck to your extra deck face up. Which is great, because as long as it's a generic Pendulum Monster that can be Pendulum Summoned, if you have not performed your Pendulum Summon already, that means that you can essentially search for niche one of Pendulum Monsters that might be good Floodgate-type cards, aka things like Amorphage Sloth or something in Metal Foes or in Magicians, just to Pendulum the card out and be like, Hey, you can't use the extra deck anymore, but that's even just one of the effects, and this effect is already very good because it yields you more Pendulum resources, but... It's second effect. Once per turn, you can target one other face-up card you control, destroy it, then add one face-up pendulum monster from your extra deck to your hand. Oh, oh, oh. oh. alright, so trading face-up cards you control for cards in your extra deck. This is very much a Metal Foes card in name, very much a very, very much a very Metal Foes influenced card. All of these cards' effects are very, like, Metal Foes influenced and Metal Foes supported, but it also just supports every other pendulum deck under the sun, so... <laughs> Um, but so like this card is very, this effect is very good because it allows you to recur those pendulum monsters. You can indirectly search a pendulum monster from your deck, any of them, because you can link summon this card, put a pendulum monster from your deck to your extra deck face up, and then use this card's effect to pop a card, probably something out of your scale, and then add that monster from your extra deck to your hand that you just put there. Like it's so easily convenient now to just search any pendulum monster in the game because of this card's existence in any pendulum deck. And that's not even all of the card's effects. Last effect is, if a card or cards leaves your Pendulum Zone, draw a card. You can only use this effect of Heavy Metal Foes Electrum once per turn. So all the other effects aren't even hard once per turns. If you summon multiple Electrums a turn, you can use one to put one in the extra deck, one to put a card in the extra deck, and then use both to add cards back to hand. <laughs> it gets ridiculous. The only effect that is only coded to hard once per turn is the draw effect, which can be directly triggered by this card's second effect to add a card from your extra deck to your hand in the form of popping a pendulum monster in your scale to add a better scale from your extra deck to your hand. Or you can use this in the Metal Foes deck. You use a Metal Foes scale to pop another scale, and then you get to draw a card after setting a card out of your deck. That's really good as well. There's multiple different applications. The Magician Pendulum deck, the scales can pop themselves. You get to draw cards. Fantastic. Um, like in Aura Pals, the Gaturtle Lizard Draw play draws three cards now because Lizard Draw physically destroys itself. You go Gaturtle, Scale Lizard Draw, Gaturtle's effect draws a card, 
Blizzard draws effect can destroy itself to draw a card, so you do, and then this card can trigger to draw another card. And on top of that, Eternal and Lizard Draw are searchable heavily, not only by the Performer Pal deck itself, but the fact that this card could add your one of Gaturtal to your extra deck. And then it could add it to your hand. And you can scale it. There's so many different options that this card allows for so many different Pendulum decks under the sun that I'm really excited to start playing with this card uh, in particular. I want to start playing with it in like Metal Foes, see if there's anything that could be, you know, messed around with there. Uh, I also want to play with it in, uh, in decks like Pendulum Magicians. I want to see if there's any like Performer Pal or Draco Pal variant that could utilize this because. Draco Pals plays Master Pendulum, which is a vanilla monster, which means you get to play Rescue Rabbit. Like, there's so many different possibilities for this card moving forward that it's way too much to ignore. Like, it's generic Pendulum Link support. It that's that's all there is. That's all that needs to be said. It's generic Pendulum Link support that does one effect of. Just every single one of these three card effects is really good. Uh, it's just like, you were already loading your extra deck up with two Pendulum Monsters, a Link Summon this card. But in case you didn't want to Pendulum those two cards back, if those two cards weren't the ones you were interested in, then it's alright. We got you. We'll let you put any Pendulum Monster from your deck into your extra deck face up, so you can choose the best Pendulum Monster you want to Pendulum Summon. Fucking neat! Um... Don't have the right scale that you need? Cool! Pop a face-up card you control and add a scale from your extra deck to your hand. Don't have enough advantage yet? Pop a scale. Draw a card. Ah! Oh man, this thing has so many cool interactions that just yield pluses upon pluses upon pluses that I, I don't know if pendulums are severely handicapped by the link mechanic anymore. Um, pretty wild to think about that from that perspective is that I don't think pendulums are too heavily hindered nearly as much once they get this card because any pendulum deck that's able to run either rescue rabbit or is able to do things like put pendulum monsters on the board before they pendulum summon like any deck that has the capability of doing that is now just going to be reigning supreme with the amount of just spot searching that they have like your deck doesn't need to have a wisdom eye anymore your deck doesn't need to have an Ove Dragon Magician anymore. Every Pendulum deck by proxy has these cards now because of this card's existence. And while it is Metal Foe support, it is, more broadly, Pendulum support. So, oh my lord. I, I don't really know what more I could say about this card. Its artwork is fantastic. It does everything that Pendulum does. Um, I just... If we, if we get more Link Monsters like this, then Pendulums are very much still an abusable mechanic. I don't understand what Konami doesn't understand about the fact that Pendulums are the most abusable card mechanic that they've ever created outside maybe Links. Links are probably approaching that level of abusability, but when you start giving the Link deck access to Pendulum Monsters and start making them support each other, Oh no! Like, I don't understand what you could think could be a positive outcome of this. If you have a Link monster that supports Pendulums, this card could have easily said two Metal Foes monsters, and it wouldn't cause any problem in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Period. It would just make Metal Foes a slightly better deck. Nah. Nah, we gotta support the whole turkey! Whole ham! Whole ham, whole turkey. We go in, we're either all in or not at all. That's Konami's motto. All in or not. <laughs> it's ridiculous. This card could easily be abusable in the future. Link Pendulum decks could literally terrify this game in the future. Uh, because, like I said, Pendulum's the most lopsided mechanic that Konami's ever made. And Link Monsters are probably the most abusable mechanic that's ever been made. And when you combine the fact that Link Monsters and Pendulum's literally fit together the best two mechanics those are the two mechanics that fit together the best exceed summoning with pendulum suck synchroing requires tuners fusioning requires uh requires fusion spells and shit links don't require any of that they're super generic these mechanics they work together so well 
So this could be a problem in the future if they keep giving good Link generic pendulum support Link monsters. Ugh. I went from being really, really happy about this card to actually just starting to think about what the future of the game could hold, and I started terrifying myself. So this video probably needs to stop. So anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are on this card in the comments down below. As always, if there's anything that you think I missed, then definitely let me know in the comments down below as per usual. But links, as always, are in the description down below to my Facebook fan page as well as my personal Patreon page. If you like the content I've been producing and want to help support my ability to continue making that content, then Patreon is the best way to do so. As well as if you're interested in getting into my private Discord server to chat with me and a bunch of other people on a daily basis about Yu-Gi-Oh! and various other fandoms, or if you're interested in monthly Yu-Gi-Oh! product giveaways that are exclusive to the Patreon reward tiers, then definitely go check out those reward tiers over in the description, as I've already said, and any support you'd like to give the channel would, would have my deepest, uh, deepest gratitude in advance for, and my thanks, because it helps out a ton in terms of keeping this channel afloat and helping me be able to improve the quality of things and stuff like that, and I think I filmed most, if not all, of this video with parts of my uh, limbs clipping out of the green screen, so... That's nice. Just looked down and saw that my settings were a tad bit off and a tad bit narrow, so we'll see how that one comes out. Not refilming the video, though, but anyway, as I've already said, thanks for watching, thanks for your time, and as usual, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next video. I hope that this doesn't cause a, uh, a resurgence in really, really degenerate things involving Pendulum. Fuck me. We've already been through that era. I don't want to relive it again. But anyway, now the video is over, I'd like to give a special thanks to Travis Miller, Iradium, Jay Garcia, Yuki Phoenix, Troy Perkins, and Eric Gertson, as well as everybody else that is currently supporting me on Patreon this month. You guys help out a lot more than you may know, you have my eternal gratitude, and you guys are forever awesome. Thank you so much for the support.